So in this game, we're testing out a tankier version of the Sanguine MF with a late game Titanic Hydra and with a Shield Bash. <laughs> Trishana already pushing. Let's see if we can still get the three melee minions. One. Okay, this should be free. Nice, got him. Hello fellow misfortunes over on YouTube as well. We are um, trying to refine the Sanguine Misfortune build and I really like uh, the idea of getting Eclipse for your Mythic and then just getting Legend Alacrity because Alacrity is super good in the early game. It stacks way faster than Bloodline. Uh, it also further takes pressure away from your mana pool because, you know, attack speed is um, allowing you to not use abilities on the wave. Okay, I kind of didn't like that um, we did this before reaching level 2, made it a little bit awkward because they were level 2, but it worked out. Yeah, it's fine. But it really makes a difference, it feels way smoother to go Legend Alacrity as opposed to Legend Bloodline. And yeah, in the late game, after Eclipse, we're just stacking health items including Titanic Hydra, which gives us an incredible late game. Also, we got Overgrowth for even more health in the late game, so it is super hard to kill. Makes split pushing safer, and... Um, hang on. Okay. Yeah, and obviously it's still quite nice damage, right? It scales with Overheal Shield, it scales with uh, Shield Bash damage, the max health. Uh, it scales with Titanic Hydra, obviously. But yeah, we'll have less damage on our ulti and stuff. Alright, Kha'Zix does his thing. Tana lives. Okay, that was awkward. Oh no! Alright, <laughs> so Leona dies too. Okay, okay, we... Certainly a bit of more than we could chew there. Kha'Zix was still nearby. It was a little bit greedy of us. Trying to play or to, to abuse the fact that this Tristana has cleanse instead of heal. But yeah, we went a little too deep there. Oh well. <laughs> Limit testing, you know. Mm, we should catch this way. If we lose one melee minion, everything's fine, no harm done. We get a huge power spike with serrated duck. It's one of the strongest components you can get in the lane phase. So right now we don't have uh, life steal. We just have omni vamp from Doran's blade, so we're not getting value off off of overheal and shield bash yet, which would have been uh, an argument for going. Um, for going Vamp Scepter instead of Serrated Dark, so we get value out of those runes earlier. However, the enemy is um, just an all-in lane. They have zero poke. They all just have all-in. And with Serrated Dark, our all-in is way stronger. And yeah. But now we have massive item advantage over Tristana. Yeah, big Q bounces. We're going to max W though, because it's a Sanguine build with overheal. Three points in Q just for the lane phase, extra pressure. I'd say we slow push here, or we try to hold it as long as we can. If Tristana goes for last hits, she will push the waves. So we can hold it in the middle for as long as we need to. At least in theory. Yeah, we'll try and force that fight. 
Big damage. That's exactly what we wanted. The notice was turning, that was so stupid of them. Yes, I almost died, but even had I died... Um, I mean, okay, if had I died, it would have been a somewhat evenish trade. But I was pretty sure I wouldn't die, actually. It was closer than I thought. But still, they took the bait. They paid the price. You're not holding this. Just walking up, making sure Nautilus does not hold this outside of tower. It's not as crucial against Tristana as against other AD carries, because Tristana can never freeze a wave. But it's still important. Ah, oh, it's so close. Selling Dorans is always a mistake here, though. So I'll just go like this. Yeah, also spending all our gold. And um, it's, it should be fine. I mean... Even if we don't get 1k gold on our next base, we can still finish boots, most likely. It's alright. She gets a plating here, that's fine. Yeah, now we have the overheal. You see right there, I take minion damage, but my W passive remains intact. <coughs> because, you know, as long as you're shielded, your W is unbreakable. Also, we get extra armor and magic resist while we're shielded due to shield bash. It's not just the damage, it's also, it makes shields, uh, well, more durable. Just pushing under tower against Tristana is completely fine because she has trouble farming uh, under tower due to her explosive shot. 14 extra damage from shield bash, it's not bad. I wonder if we need to let our shield break and then create a new overheal shield for it to uh, apply again. Yeah, I'll just pressure the tower now. Nice. As long as they're busy doing whatever, they're losing wave after wave. Wave after wave. What year was that? 2016? 15? When that song was popular? <laughs> ah, memories. So we need to see whether Shield Bash is actually worth it. When we get Eclipse, it will get a lot more value due to Eclipse passive, but... Um, maybe even with this build, with the Titanic build, um, Demolish is still better value, we'll see. Okay. I'm just dead. I thought Leona would sponge the hit, but she flashed away, so I got hit. That was a little bit scum scummy of her, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's okay, though. Kazix got the kill. Uh, yeah. It's alright, could be worse. But you see, it's minute 10, we're already 12%, or we already got 12% attack speed from this rune. This is a very good rune. 12% attack speed is worth how much? Exactly 300 gold, okay. And yeah, compare that to Legend Bloodline, it would be like 2.4% lifesteal or whatever. So yeah, we just buy our lifesteal manually. My team probably got this, but I'm still moving. I 
hesitated for too long. Tristana lives. Nautilus is dead, though. Yeah, now with uh, Sanguine Blade, we got big damage against towers. All the attack speed, the lethality. Lethality works on towers, in case you're not aware of it. So you take it so quickly with Sanguine Blade. Yeah, taking mid tower is big. It opens up their entire map. They essentially can't uh, walk through their jungle anymore without us noticing. Because mid tower provides vision for those two um, jungle paths, and we can just ward it now or push minions past it. So yeah, mid tower is a huge tactical advantage. Nice, I take it. That was another 23 damage from Shield Bash in that fight. And it also blocked some damage with its resistances, but it's hard to tell how much. Yeah, let's just take the tower with Sanguine Blade here. There's no reason to even pay attention to Nautilus. The tower is just gone. Nice, alright. Tristana on our way back to lane. And I think I should recall and get some items. Nice, I take it. Good base, good purchase. Whew. What a wild game, though. Uh, next objective we should take is top tower, for sure. Uh, let's just ping it. Tristana does not seem to be pushing bot lane too hard. Okay, she goes mid lane. Let's kill Camille. I'm on my way. Okay, nice. The extra health from overgrowth is also quite noticeable, and it will just grow indefinitely as the game progresses. Nice. Yo, we're stomping them right now. Shield Bash already did 100 damage, like half of what Coup de Grasse did. And we don't even have our Eclipse yet. No mana! Okay. We don't need spells, we have attack speed. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah, I kind of like it. It feels good. Alright, well, I think, I mean, Titanic Hydra is obviously most value as a last item. Or is it? At 3000 health, it's already super good. I wonder what's the, what's the break-even point. I, I, I would need to do the math. Okay, now with the clips, I'm super excited about Shield Bash. It should work very well. We get two autos in, get the shield, and then with the third auto, we proc Shield Bash and PTA. Yeah, 
Yeah, we just go for those. Okay, so Nautilus probably blocked the damage with his shield so it doesn't get portrayed here. Yeah, we can just pressure the tower. Mm. Maybe we overstepped. We lived quite long though. Probably longer than they anticipated. Nice, we also get Edge of Night upon respawn. Whew. But yeah, the idea is, you see, overheal also scales off of max health. The more max health you have, the bigger the overheal shield will be. Is it actually worth farming this, or do I just push here? But yeah, Titanic Hydra, right now. Uh, how much health will we have when we complete it? 2,500? Maybe more. So maybe Black Cleaver instead, I don't know. And then Titanic last. Take the free stuff, win the game, right? But this is Legend of Alacrity, this is actually a real, um, a really, really big deal. The fact we can go this rune due to getting double lifesteal items. Yeah, this is, this is super nice. Let's just go for it. Okay, no one there. Two K health right now. You know what? I'll just go for Titanic Hydra. I think it's worth. It's also better wave clear, makes bit pushing easier. It's not just the attack damage we get; we also get on hit damage. And we are two point three attack speed with W. One point six five without W, as long as Frenzy is active. No reason to base right now. We could get Tiamat, but it's alright. Just move with the team. He tries to duel me. <laughs> I'm way too tanky. But yeah, we finish here. I would have liked to see the Titanic Hydra though. Yeah, most damage in the game easily. We kind of hard carried. Uh, definitely the, the Legend of Alacrity with this and this is quite nice. I'm still not sure about Shield Bash though. I think a lot of its value is, uh, I don't know, hidden in the armor and magic resist. Um, but yeah, we need to experiment more, definitely. 
If you want to see more Sangue and Misfortune builds, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.